do not think it's fair that Gabby's horse comes <laughs> and I have to go walking for mine. Penny, come on! You're killing me here! It's so cold, you guys. So cold. Chino's like, come on, Gabby! You got the... Come on, then! Come on! <laughs> I'm talking. She's coming. Come on, Penny! <laughs> Even the chickens are making noise. That's how cold it is. Everybody's like, I'm tired of this. Let's go back to summer. Come on. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Before I forget, I want to remind you guys that this is Laura's birthday week. I've been so busy and so happy and so excited about things that are happening in our life that I totally forgot that it's my birthday. Like, I have hardly even thought about it. And you guys know I used to count down for a month. <laughs> All right, you know. Let's be good. You go and then Penny will come. That's the plan. That's the plan. Isn't it cold? It's so cold. It's cold enough for the still smelling ground. Yeah. Thank you. She's watching. All right, fine. Bye, Penny. <laughs> I want her to be able to see me. She knows I'm watching. You have to wait for me, Gabby. It's not fair. Uh, you go oh my God, horse. fine. I'll go get my horse. <sighs> Molly, go get my horse. She never actually acts like she cares either. She's like, oh, took you a while to get here, but that's okay. I'm patient. I'll just wait for you. Oh, horses, kids, husbands. <laughs> oh. Shoot, I missed it. I wanted to get this. When I walked in, mama and daughter were like, they, honey tucks herself underneath, underneath Gracie all the time. They're like, so in love. They're like totally mom and daughter. It's just so bizarre to me, even though I know it happens. It happens all the time where one horse or one animal will adopt an orphan, but it's adorable. It makes me happy. It makes me happy that Honey has somebody that she loves and it protects her. And the crazy thing is, is that Gracie protects her, but not like an idiot. She like, she's not mean to the other horses. Like she is kind. Oh, see her clacking? <laughs> I love her. It's been one month of honey. One month of honey. A whole month, you guys. And she's respectful and kind and sweet. Listens. Gets her feet done. She, like, she's amazing. The only issue we still have is that she still has her stifle stick a little. And that's something that she'll probably grow out of and something that we're working towards her growing out of and she's been great she's been amazing i love her i actually want my own full now my own miniature full now like i'm so obsessed like i think we got lucky with her but i'm willing to try again not in this house not right now but one day i would get another full a miniature horse full that's how amazing it's been it's cold it is so cold. It yeah, is. I don't have a coat. I don't know where my coats are. Because <laughs> everyone steals them except for me. It is cold, you guys. Like, I always steal mom's coat. So cold. I need like, to go back in and get a warmer coat. A warmer coat. I am so glad. I'm so glad we uh, blanketed the baby last night. I know not everybody agrees with blanketing, especially a baby. But let me tell you, oh, it is cold. And they all look happy and healthy in the barn today. They they know when it's cold. Like they go in the barn. It is so cold. What's the temperature? Well, zero. Oh zero. But minus with the wind chill is probably cold. Yeah, what is the wind chill? Alright, so it's only negative seven in Canada Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. We are headed for a big huge snowstorm, a blizzard. Everywhere around us has gotten so much snow and we got nothing. We got nothing you guys. It's just this right now. Anyway, uh, we are headed out. We're taking a Sophie to her friend's house. She's sleeping over at a friend's house. Okay, and so did you bring her birthday present? No, that's why there's nothing right here. All right. So anyway, she's going to a sleepover, and uh, we are gonna go do a little bit of shopping before we go home, where it's freezing cold. <laughs> I'd oh, really like to put up the Christmas pr tree today. Sophie, if I put up the Christmas tree, are you gonna be upset that you weren't there, or you want to do it with us? I don't want to do it with you. Yeah, the, my girls are at the age now where they don't want to do the Christmas tree with us. I need to stop it from last year. Um, set it at my computer so I can stuff it with stuff. Yeah. She gets Sophie's already been 
been buying stuff for Daisy for her stocking. We've been stocking up on Christmas presents ourselves. So last year Daisy got a million presents and she's gonna get a bunch more. Cause I don't know where they are but Yeah. She probably chewed them. All our dog toys, well 90% of our dog toys are under the couch. Which is where they go. Yeah, she spoke way too soon Gabby just said. So now we're like 10 minutes from home and we're in a blizzard. All right, so this is the first storm of the season and let me tell you, I'm freaking out. I'm so glad we brought the horses in and I'm so glad we put a blanket on the baby. So glad. This is craziness. This is craziness. I don't know, Sophie. Well, we are getting back up that hill. A lot of people don't have snow tires on. So when I was complaining, say I put my snow tires on the other day, I'm grateful. It's insane. Look. It's amazing how like everybody gets so excited about the first snowfall. Like the the very first real winter snow. Everybody's like, oh my god, look, look, look how crazy this is. But it happens every year for like years after years after years. And we're all so shocked every time it happens. Sam said that it was supposed to snow for 24 hours straight and it was supposed to start at midnight last night. But when we drove here, there was no snow at our house at all. We didn't have anything. And then just a little, we just drove into a little bit south of us was this full blown storm. So we're gonna hopefully drop Sophie off at her friend's house because we're brave like that, brave or dumb. And then we are going to go and put Storm's warmer blanket on even though the barn might already have done it, but we have it like put up and I haven't told Brandon where it is, so it's blanket. So we're gonna go and make sure that he's nice and warm. All right, where are we, Gabby? Popeye's. Popeye's chicken. So we dropped Sophie off at her friend. We did some shopping and now we're gonna eat out because it's getting late and we have to drive home. Sam didn't eat all day. He always gets me. I'm the one in the family that is like, no, let's eat healthy. And then we go shopping and he's like, I didn't eat all day when we're conveniently beside restaurants. Time. I didn't eat all day. <laughs> it was the middle of the day and he passed out. Did he? Remember when he fainted? Oh, at the horse show. It was the middle of the day. Yeah, did we tell them about that? I fell. think we did. Sam fainted at a horse show. But was it, why is the floor so slippery? Cold. Yeah, it's freezing in here. Oh, wow, you're smart. It's almost like you're homeschooled. <laughs> Comment below, what is your go-to meal if you just go to like, super easy fast food or actually even comment what is your favorite fast food restaurant I prefer like a burger always to chicken nuggets what do you get Gabby chicken nuggets. Gabby gets chicken nuggets always what do you get Sam what? when we go out when we eat fast food oh what's my go-to meal yeah I always like sushi or Chinese that's true I love sushi I hate Chinese because you always like I hate all you can eat restaurants, I hate them because you eat so much. Like, I don't know why you do it. You could just go back again on another day. I don't know why you overeat, but you always overeat there. Or at least we always overeat there. All right, so we drove everywhere perfectly with no problems except for this one area. Every time we hit this area, it's a blizzard. It's on the top of a mountain. We're on the top of a mountain, Gabby said, and it's true. We're going up a hill, 20 miles an hour. 30. 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers. We passed a bunch of cars. It's a big drop off on either side. But yeah, it's a total whiteout and we're just driving along. And my friend was on the phone with me and she said, please don't crash another car. <laughs> Do you know Sam had never crashed cars before? He used to be a no. Okay, don't jinx it. Okay, this is terrifying. four bumps that you can barely feel two. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. Hi guys, it is snowing now at our place. Not as much as what we saw on the road, but uh, yeah, we're gonna put the horses in. It's 20 minutes earlier than normal, but, cause it'd be dark right now. In 20 minutes it'll be darker. But get it done now since we just got back. Hi, oh, you've been out in the snow, playing in the snow, and look how drenched you are. You're full of snow. I guess the horses are having fun in the snow. You've been out in the snow too, Willow? Yeah. 
Gracie's been out in the snow. Little honey's been out in the snow too. Look how wet you are. All right, go to your spot. Yeah, I know, you're in a rush to eat. Go in your spot. I'll feed you. There you go, Penny. There you go, Pen. There you go. There you go, Willow. There you go, Gracie. Come on, little girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Go in your stall. Go in your stall. There you go. You're all wet. Oh, there you go. Shake that snow off. Good job. Good job, honey. You nice and warm now? You're nice and warm. Yeah, you're nice and warm. Well, that's it for today. My my batteries are going to be dead soon. Anyways, I wanted to. I had all these plans today to go and move the shore shelter before it snowed. It didn't have time, so it might be a tomorrow job, or we'll see. I might be able to do it tomorrow. I had a. I concocted a plan to move it with my tractor. So we'll see if I can do that. Don't you know that you're beautiful?